Only on 7 News you might brush your teeth with them or take a shower with them, and you'll find them in hundreds of other products. We're talking about tiny plastic microbeads, and they're gaining a big rec reputation for all the wrong reasons. Call 7 investigator Teresa Marchetta, the first to uncover these specks of plastic are ending up in Colorado waterways. That's because microbeads wash right down the drain and right through our state's filtration system, and we found out nobody's even checking for them. So we did, and our tests confirm polyethylene, that's plastic, in our waterways. We also found out many of you have no idea how they got there. Does anyone use this? Crust. crust. Yes. Use crust. Yeah. Okay. I've always made the assumption that those crystals have something to do with flavor or cleaning your teeth. What if I told you that it was plastic? It's scary. That, that shocks me. Marcy Bay and several other moms from her Littleton neighborhood had no idea those specks in their toothpaste were microbeads. Plastic beads on your teeth. <laughs> 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 well, in your stomach, yeah. You know what? It, it's yeah, it's kind of creepy. It's a brand Bay's been loyal to for years. Now wishing she'd known up front that what the FDA says is a harmless additive is actually plastic. Tiny pieces of polyethylene or polypropylene ingredients listed only on the box. I mean, there's a lot in there. There is, right? a, there is a lot in there. That's what's scary. It's like I'm sitting here thinking, how much is how on my teeth? Of Quite a bit, according to dental hygienist so Trisha Waravan. She picks plastic particles out of people's gums frequently. About 20 of us had been remarking that we'd been seeing these um, blue uh, bits in people's mouths, and especially particularly under their gum line. Plastics don't degrade. They actually just break into smaller particles of plastic. The problem, these says aquatic ecologist and CU professor Greg Cronin, is these tiny plastic spheres don't disappear when they go down the drain. These small particles of plastic can be as small as a micron, the size of a bacterial cell. And there are billions of them in products ranging from face wash to makeup, even deodorant and sunblocks. It's the same type of plastic used to make your trash can or hairspray bottle. You would probably be able to find these microbeads in the South Platte River as well. People might just not have looked yet. He's right. No one's looking. The state admits in an email to the Call 7 investigators the, quote, emerging issue of microbeads wasn't brought to their attention until we asked. I'm just going to put my little jar down here, get a sample. So we did our own testing. We're about 10 blocks to the north of the water treatment plant on the plat at about 74th. In the same general area Professor Cronin suggested. We're going to take the sample, take it to a lab, and see if we see any microbeads in here. Just flame sterilizing our forceps. We then had our South Platte samples tested at two labs. What we use is a filter that has a pretty small micron, and microns are pretty much what we use to measure bacteria width and size. The first here in the metro area, microbiologist Kim Minicky pouring part of our sample through a sterile filter. There could potentially be some beads because there are some quite a few round. Analyzing it under a microscope. Quite a few numerous round objects. I saw them too. So Minicky telling us they are not good. organic. The ones that are almost like perfect circles yes. that are a little different than what you would normally find. Then we sent our samples to a more specialized lab in Georgia to identify exactly what those perfect circles are made of. The results confirm polypropylene. That's plastic. Hours, the first test we can find confirming the presence of microbeads in Colorado's waterways. Yes, we should care. Cronin warns the consequences are far reaching. What we should do is, is stop using them in the products, especially products that get you know, flushed down the, the sink immediately. He says these plastics by nature attract toxic compounds like pesticides and ironically are often used to remove harmful chemicals from water. When an animal ingests it, they're getting extremely high concentrations of these pesticides and other industrial chemicals. The Water Quality Control Division denied our request for an interview, but in an email said microbeads are filtered from our drinking water, but that installing and maintaining filters to capture them from wastewater is cost prohibitive. And that's it. We're too trusting. <laughs> Manufacturers readily admit the microbeads serve no real purpose. There's no flavor nor any cleaning benefits. According to Crest's website, it's a safe, inactive ingredient used to provide color. If it's not doing us any good and it could be potentially harming either the environment or our teeth, why use it?
The makers of Crest and other manufacturers have pledged to discontinue their use of microbeads and products like these in the coming years, but many states like New York, California, Ohio, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Minnesota, they're not waiting around. Right now, they are taking action to ban products that contain these tiny pieces of plastic. We reached out to Colorado legislatures many times before the session ended to gauge their awareness of this issue. They never got back to us. I'm Call 7 Investigator Teresa Marchetta.